All right, so here we have a um, this button that's bound to invoke this uh, this uh, event handler over here. But what we want to be able to do here is is uh, change the state. So how do we change the state? So to change the state, uh, we have a function that that uh, we have inherited from the component, right? And and the way we change it is by using the this dot set state. And this set set state has two versions. Um, we're going to use uh, the more rigorous version. The, the the one that takes a function, right? This this that set state. Uh, we're going to use this two version. We're going to use the one that takes a function, and the function uh, takes takes um takes one argument, right? M meaning it passes us one argument. It's the previous state. The previous state. And it's a function, right? It passes us. So when when we when we call the set state, meaning we want to set the state. And instead say, well, okay, uh, here's, a, here's a function. Whatever that function returns, that will be the new state. Right? I'm going to give you the previous state so you can do your transition graph. So you can say, okay, well, where was I? What was the event? Then you can decide where to do the transition. Right? So this, the, the event was toggle. That was the event. Now I need to know in what state was I. So know, knowing where I was and what the event is, I can calculate what my next state is. Yes? OK, silly question. What's the difference between this and just calling this dot state dot layout? Uh, this, um, like just looking in there. The, oh, you, 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 you have access to that value. You have access to this dot state. And you can read it. You can console it, everything, right? But the component won't know that it has changed until you tell it that it has changed. So you, you have to notify it. It's, a, it's very much like um, you know in, in many uh, graphic uh, libraries, right? You change the state, and then you have to tell the renderer says, "Hey, I'm done updating the state. Go ahead and render me, right?" Uh, so, so there's sort of like a rendering cycle. So this triggers the rendering cycle, I meaning the state's change. Go ahead and make it happen, right? Uh, also, because the um, um, React is doing some optimization, right? And uh, it's very expensive to write to the DOM. So it tries to minimize the number of times it has to go out to the DOM, right? And so, so what it does is that it maintains a virtual DOM, uh, and and any updates are to the virtual DOM, and then it, it has a previous version of the DOM and a next version of the DOM, and it does a comparison, does a delta. If it doesn't change, it doesn't bother going out to the DOM, right? If it has changed, then it only updates the DOM elements that uh, apply to that DOM to those changes in the state. So yeah, so this triggers the uh, the re-rendering. Uh, so yeah, so it gives you the old state, and so here we can do things such as, you know, if the previous state dot layout, right? If that's equal to table, then uh, I'm going to return a new object uh, whose layout is the grid. Okay, else. Right, if it's not table, then it must be grid. Then I'm just going to return layout layout to be table. OK, yes? So for state, you have multiple. Yeah, only the things that you change here will, be, will change. So if you have multiple properties, uh, this is the delta. You're saying, I only want to change this part of the state. What about uh, yeah, you can you can be as nested as you want, uh, but it will only know about that nesting if it's in the initial state. So you could you can have a whole structure, mm -hmm. right? And, uh, and and you have to specify that structure, even if it's null and empty and whatnot, right? Otherwise, it won't it won't do the delta. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so there it is. So so let's let's try this out, right? If we go back here. Uh, and we toggle this. Notice that indeed it's going back between table and and grid by toggling that state. Okay. Um, all right. So let's uh, let's take a look at, at maybe rendering a couple other things in here. Right. 